My name is Tom Winter. I'm a professor of radiology and chief of abdominal imaging at the University of Utah. And we're going to be talking about what to do when you find a mass in the scrotum. I uh, love this paper from one of the urology literature about five years ago entitled The Face of Testicular Pain There. This was, I was lecturing in New Zealand, and I loved this sign as you came into one town. It said, be careful driving. We've got two cemeteries, and we don't have any hospitals. This is going to be an ultrasound talk, but sometimes CT is the best way to evaluate the scrotum. Here's a spectacular case given to me by Jason. And moving on to the bulk of the talk, we'll have a brief introduction. Then we'll talk about intratesticular lesions, tumors, torsion, epididymorchitis, trauma, extratesticular uh, scrotal lesions, true masses, and then a variety of other things. And then we'll finish up with microlithiasis. Probably the uh, journal I read most religiously is Sports Illustrated, so we'll be illustrating this talk with a lot of uptakes from SI. This was the very first scrotal ultrasound ever published by Fred Sample. It's a bistable exam showing a hematocele. And just look at how lucky we are with the technology that the manufacturers have given us over the ages. Uh, improved hardware and software. We get beautiful grayscale, beautiful Doppler. This is a patient who had three testicles. Here's an 80-year-old man whose testicle looked like a bowling pin. He was completely asymptomatic, so we never found out what was going on there.